everyone. Welcome to another Let's Play of Stardew Valley. My name is Anna Mardal, and we are about to start day 11 of winter, year one. When we last left off, I had broken my frankly perfect record of birthday observances um, and forgotten Sebastian's birthday because we got distracted doing other things. And I can't back up a day, so we're kind of stuck with it now. I'm sorry. There's a couple of fish you can only find in winter. Squid and lingcod. Squid can be caught from the ocean in the evening, and lingcod can be found in fresh water all day. Of course, there's rumor of extremely rare and unique fish that can only be found in particular seasons, but I don't have any information on them. I do not think... Well... Hmm. I was not planning to max to 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 to, to max out our fish um, collection in the first or second year, but I guess we should think about that. This is below where all the fish catchable during winter. Tuna, which we have. Sardine, which we have. Perch, which I don't actually think we have. Freshwater, so it's available in the river anytime. All right, let's go get a perch, I guess. I, uh, I'm also going to <clears throat> go ahead and pull out this copper pan and I'm going to put my quartz away because we have exhausted our gifting opportunities with the wizard. Dear Anna, here's a vegetable from the little garden I keep. It's a parsnip. How is she growing parsnips in the middle of winter? We also have a bunch of money, like a lot of money, because we unearthed a quest which causes a bear to up how much blackberries and salmon berries sell for uh, just raw. This, the upping doesn't affect their processed prices, which is why we will never sell their, we, we aren't going to be using them for processed goods anymore. I was, but we're not going to anymore because um, it's better to use something else and get that process boost from the someone else, like cranberries or whatever. If you process a cranberry, the processed thing is worth more. If you process a um, a blackberry, the processed thing is still based on the original unboosted price. Clear as mud, clear as mud. Um, What I would most like to do with all this money we have is upgrade our barn. But the problem is that I cannot upgrade our barn without wood. And surprise, surprise, 
I have completely screwed us over by failing to leave wood to chop down for the winter. There is no wood. It's all gone. So, I could buy the wood from gold ore, nice. I could buy the wood from Robin. But I have bought wood from Robin before, and it is not cheap. I mean, at all. So, it would be better to not waste that money. And instead, just be patient and wait until spring because there'll be plenty of wood come spring. So as hard it is, as it is for me to be patient, that's what we're going to do. What I am going to do is I'm going to go to town and I'm going to pay Clint $10,000 gold to upgrade my axe, which, ouch. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because way whenever we go to cut down trees in spring it won't take us very much time or energy to do so it'll just be boom 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 cut down easy 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 to watch television with him. That is so sweet. It must be so cold for the poor fish. I wonder if fish hibernate. I should ask Demetrius. Another year is almost over. Actually, in the mood for shopping, Pierre. That's pretty. It's like a midnight blue. So, we have noticed, or I think we have noticed, that the trees, the saplings on our farm, are growing despite it being winter, just very slowly. The the fruit trees. So we're gonna get. three of the cherry and apricot saplings. And I'm also gonna get an, no, I'm not. I want to, but I'm not going to get summer ones yet. There's plenty of time and there's only so much value to be gained in planting them ahead of time. The spring ones we get value from planting ahead of time because that means that they'll grow up and flower fruit, whatever the word I'm looking for is, in spring, and that's wonderful and lovely and exactly what we want. Okay. Cherries are the ones we're doing by the house because I wanted the pretty pink ones by the house. One, two, three. Okay, we have to... Oh, really? Jeez. Apparently I can't aim. 
it's a little weird to me that you can't put them in tilled soil, but for some reason the the um, the wild trees are the same way, and I, I don't really know why. That seems really strange that you can't put them there. Why can't you put them in soil that is specifically for planting? No questions. All right, Cherry. One, two. Oh, Cherry, that's the name of our kitten. One, two, one, two. There we go. Apricot. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right. So if I did this right, and I really hope that I did, um, those will grow now over the course of the winter. And I, like I said, I really hope that I did them right. Do I know that I did them right? No, I do not know that. Do I hope that I did them right? Yes, I do. Go do this fishing that we keep hearing so much about. one of the winter fishes, but so is perch. We're trying to get perch. This feels like another pike. This guy's easier going. Perch, yay! Alrighty, so if we go to our collections. I still don't know what Secret Note 19 is for. We're gonna look into that. I don't know about the mermaid show either. Okay. If we go to our collections, where are our collections? Where are they? Where do they go? Fish. Perch and pike. Good. Fill those out. Red mullet and herring are next. We have those. Squid. We have those. That one, thanks to the quest that Lily gave us. Sea cucumber. Sturgeon. We have... Tiger trout, we have. I thought that was a fall only. I wonder if that got expanded. Albacore, we have. Link cod. River. Town and forest, mountain, lake, anytime. Interesting. Red snapper. Mm -hmm. I know we have red snapper. Halibut, we have halibut. 
and a glacier fish. South end of the Arrowhead Island in the Cinder Snap Forest. Where are you? Oh, okay. I know where that is. Eh, we could walk there. I don't see why not. Maybe we'll catch a legendary fish. This is a really nice gift, thank you. I'm having a hard time finding fresh food. I've been eating a lot of bread. Honey. Come by my house, I will feed you. I've got chests and chests full of food. That upsets me. Wow. Okay, that's what a legendary fish moves like. Okay. Don't think we're ready to catch that yet. Okay. I have caught legendary fish before. I I don't think I've caught that one. Um, obviously we're going to want to be at level 10. There are bobbers that you can attach to your pole that make fish slow down a little bit. So we'll want that. Um, We'll want a trout soup, of course, because that makes your bar bigger. We may not 
be good enough just yet to catch my class. We're still only level seven, I think. But yeah, it's frustrating because it's like. If I can't catch this guy, what hope do I have to catch a legendary fish? I forget, can you tell? We may have leveled up, I'm not quite sure how to tell. So the link cod is the only one that we're missing that's winter specific. That, that and the glacier fish. <sighs> Sorry. I was trying to look up the quarry. And I butterfingers dropped my phone. All right, we're gonna sell the gold perch and the gold pike. And we're gonna sell the silver fruit. Right now, we're just going to toss everything in there. We're going to put the wine in the... Actually, we're going to put the wine in the fridge because I just realized we didn't save any wine. There's, a, I think, at least one recipe that calls for wine. That is driving me nuts. We're going to replace that and see if it... Strategy. Each day new nodes and rocks will spawn in the quarry. To prevent valuable spawns from being blocked by existing rocks, it is wise to keep the quarry entirely clear. Okay. I thought so. So it's a good idea to, every day, just bomb the crap out of the quarry. Bombs can be purchased from, I believe... From the, uh, ooh, we got a new collection, new award. 
Homesteader, 250k overtime. Bombs can be uh, bought, I believe, from the dwarf once we get his language scrolls. So eventually it'll just be money and we're not actually consuming copper to... The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Today is Friday. Fridays are... I am researching the art of shadow divination. I require a void essence. I love his stationery. It's very pretty. Yeah, I've got like a dozen of those, buddy. You can have them. What happens if we put it right here? Does that? Okay, that seems fine. It's not shuddering. Alrighty, there. Everybody's happy. As I was saying, today is Friday, and Fridays are for buying things at the caravan. over here, which I continue to adore. God, I'm so relieved that we have that now. We could get a horse. Battery pack, large milk, covered fish, slime, parsnip, iridium ore. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna buy an iridium ore. Um, and that is it. Get me a pomegranate and a rabbit's foot and a truffle and a fiddlehead fern and a piece of wool and we'll talk. You've brought it. You've earned my gratitude and a hundred gold reward. Now go. Don't I need to sign some kind of waiver? Okay. We didn't level up last night for fishing, and I honestly don't know what um, 
I don't know if you can tell how far away you are from leveling. Makes your catch more secure, causing the fishing bar to cling to your catch. Instabite. because need snow yam for experiment. Gosh dang it. Wish I'd known you needed that before I went out there this morning. Um It's a beautiful day, isn't it? On the one hand the horse will definitely get you where you need to go faster. But on the other hand... It's... Suddenly very tempting... To blow past... Gather items and, you know, those squiggly worms and stuff. Because you have to get off your horse each time to... Deal with them. So it's like, well, I'm, I'm going somewhere. I'll just, I'll just focus on going somewhere. That is what the horse does to you. My daughter really hates snow yam. Thanks. This is really nice. birthday. I've been so good about not missing birthdays. I mean, I've, I've just been really good about it. And here we missed it. How distressing. is not necessarily the worst idea. Or we can mine. Let's try to get down to the bottom. That's something at least. so much more well, I won't say always so much more compelling but they, they tend to be very snazzy years ago we'd watch uh, 
Veggie Tales. Shout out to my ex evangelical kids in the audience. And, uh, Veggie Tales really screwed themselves over because they had a villain song that was better than, that was compelling. And, uh, they ended up having to release a good version of the villain song <laughs> because parents were concerned. Oh my god. And this is the most evangelical thing ever to be concerned because your kids are singing the the wrong the evil song. But uh, it was a retelling of uh, Daniel in the lion's den. And, uh, well, no, actually, it wasn't Daniel, because Daniel was, um... Oh, I don't remember if they did Daniel. Maybe they did. But this one was, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the Fiery Furnace. And, um... The metaphor was that they all worked at a chocolate bunny-making factory. And, uh... The guy wanted them to all bow down and sing to the bunny. Oh god. That just sounds like a fever dream in retrospect. But that was a thing that really happened in evangelical life was... Interesting. That's the beach. Was they made, uh... They made the idolatrous Shadrach, Shadrach Meshach, and Abednego song more interesting by accident than they meant to, and they had to release a good version. So it's not just Disney, it's all villain songs. I've heard some people suggest that it's they're more compelling because they are about a goal and wanting something. Which is naturally more dynamic than just sitting around waiting. So that might be something to do with it. But even so, the princesses usually have like a want song. It's even called an I want song. Uh, thermal boots, we don't need those. So it's not just about agency and wanting. Maybe it's the confidence they sing their song with? Confidence is inherently very attractive to most people. because Disney villains are always queer-coded and so a lot of us queer folk just more naturally gravitate towards them even if they are stuck with the villain role. I mean the, the classic example of course is Ursula and I, I don't even like Ursula. I hate when people are like, Ursula icons! Because, you know, fat girl goals because she actually uses diet culture to prey on her victims. Like, people always forget that, but that's actually in her song. This one longing to be thinner, that one won't save the girl. She's she's turning people into this little creatures based on their own body hatred, guys. Just say. Um, so I don't really see her as like a fat acceptance icon. But having said that, um, she's definitely, definitely modeled off of um, enter the entertainer known as Divine and is of course an excellent example of Disney's early queer coding of villains which would go on for, oh arguably has it even stopped? Who was the last villain? Uh, 
Frozen didn't really have a villain. Or, uh, uh, sorry, Milana didn't really have a villain, so that leaves Frozen. And I don't really think you could say that, uh... Oh, bloody heck, what was his name? I get the two guys' names mixed up. One of them was Hans. I just don't remember which one was Hans. Anyway, bad Hans. Well, that's what we'll call them. Good Hans and bad Hans. I don't think you could probably... Well, you could argue there's enough there to, to say that bad Hans was crooked. So maybe they've stopped. <gasps> we've reached the bottom! And we got a skeleton key! Your, or skull key! You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It has been added to your wallet. And it does look just pretty. There's these snakes and everything's nice. Okay, so that... Uh, we had had a, uh, quest for forever saying to, um, find, oh, what's going on? Oh, it's another Mario cutscene. I thought we'd had all of those. Anna, I'm surprised to see you here so late. The night sky looks amazing right now. Come over here. I want to show you something. Here, take a peek. What do you see? A beautiful planet. It's amazing, isn't it? By the time any of these stars are visited, you and I will be long gone. I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? Anna, um... Never mind. Here, let me show you a binary star system. Beautiful. So I actually, this was one of the cutscenes I had during the, the videos that I lost. So, uh, I thought we'd already had it, but we haven't. Look at that, it's very beautiful. He actually made like a galaxy and... That's, that's just gorgeous is what that is. Uh, so much detail in this game. So much detail. I, uh... if you have to visit it every day and clear out the nose just so good stuff can show up. That seems tedious to me. I'm sure there's people who do it and do it well, but... Okay, uh... Bus stop. There's another crocus. What was I talking about? I, I truly do not remember. Probably something to do with Disney. I remember babbling about that. Sorry. Film criticism is of deep interest to me. Hey, baby. I can't see any. Oh, the light is doing that funny thing again. Here's hoping it's just a winter snow thing because I don't... I don't want to have to give up my lights. Okay. Orderly, orderly fashion. Crap goes in here. Anything else fishy? No. Hardwood. Okay, 
spidey things. Bomb, void, solar, slime, bad boots. At some point I need to try to take those up to the Adventurers Guild and sell them. Because of... Because of Class for Glory, I keep wanting to call it an Adventurers Guild. Jerry, I cannot see the screen literally at all. You're, you're in front of all of it. I, I don't know if you notice that or realize it or care. You're in front of all of it, yeah. <sighs> Jerry, Jerry, get down. Get down. She's rubbing her shoulder against the monitor. I have no idea why. Maybe it's warm? I don't know. Who knows why cats do things? I love them so much. I would die for each and every one of them. And I thank God every day that she's in my life, but I couldn't pretend to tell you what's going on in her head sometimes. You, you are a mystery sometimes. Bundle up, folks, it's gonna snow. The spirits feel neutral today. Here's a vegetable from the little garden I keep. That is very sweet. Is Carolyn just going to send us a vegetable every day now? Not complaining at all. Um, I said in the first year, I like to, um, I cannot see the screen at all. There you go. In my first year, I like to keep five of every individual item. In my second year, a lot of times I'll trim that down to ten of an item. So it's kind of going up in fives. Five for the first year, ten for the second year and so on and so forth. I think I'll keep 50 salmon berries. All right, so that's, that's a thing. You are so cute. It's just not fair how cute you are. She's trying to catch her own tail now. Yes, you are. You are trying to catch your own tail. Today is Saturday, the 13th. And I'm so glad I checked that item because I thought it was a cog, which we've already turned in. But it is not a cog, it is a spur. Which we have not turned in, which is obviously totally different. Despite the fact that they look remarkably similar. Okay. Be disappointed that the blue chickens don't make blue eggs. How would that work? I don't know. I still want it. We promised the wizard a snow yam, so I guess we should get on that. Oh, nice haul of fish.
first I just want to drop off one thing. Gold axe now, though, and that's pretty awesome. You know, speaking of people who I think have depression, I really do wish you could get Clint some help. Because he is a nice guy, but. I really don't think that Emily is going to fix him with manic pixie dream girl magic. You know, he needs someone to talk to him who isn't a woman he's infatuated with. <laughs> We're a good start. We're his friend and we talk to him, but he needs more than just a f customer who comes by and purchases tool upgrades. He needs real friendship, real help, real psychiatric expertise. Your work was satisfactory. Here is your compensation. Thank you. I love being satisfactory. We've got options. We could go back to the mine and continue mining ore. such thing. You did no such thing. Shane, hi. I've really grown attached to Marnie's chickens. Five, 
I think we need five. Items, whatever artifacts. I could not think of a word. And it's kind of distressing because I really, really want to get the sewer key as absolutely quickly as possible. But we're stuck with what fate gives us. So, one thing we will do. Oh, crap, really? I can't buy stuff because he's not here. Pressure Hunter takes two gold bars. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Alright, well. that a fisherman would be available on Saturdays at his shop. That's when people go out to fish. You gotta be there to sell them stuff. I'm just saying. This one's
It's very hypnotic when you sit and fish for hours on end. It, at least for me, you can start making me feel kind of... You're fiddly, so I wanted to, I think you're a tuna. Out of four. Okay, I believe that. inventory is full, so I guess that's good enough for me. I was hoping Lily would come back and we could do him. Still at the saloon, huh? Oh my. Marty, we can't. If word got out, it could undermine my position of authority in the town. You understand, don't you? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things to life, you know. But yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. Yeah! Anna, you overheard everything, didn't you? This cutscene doesn't make sense to me, because if you say yes, then I'm going to tell everyone, which seems like the right answer, right? Because... Then Lewis doesn't have to make a decision. They can be out in the open and nobody cares that they're dating. Nobody would mind at all. But if you say yes and I'm going to tell everyone, they both get so upset with you and nothing changes. So I say yes and I'll keep it a secret. Thank you, Anna. I won't forget this. Why were you hiding there anyway? <laughs> I'm leaving now. I don't really understand that whole subplot because it's like, dude, nobody cares that you guys are dating. Things changed a lot after Joja Mart went up. It's been bad for Pierre's shop. Mom loves Joja Mart though. The prices are cheap, so she can afford a lot more there than she ever could at Pierre's. Except the prices are more expensive. It's, it literally makes no sense game-wise. Okay, so we're gonna give this is great! If my old pappy was around, he'd go nuts for this. He loves the sea cucumber.
This is great, thanks. Thank you. I talked to Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. I always see Clint here. He just glances over his shoulder now and then. Terry, Chip, thank you. Oh my gosh. This is a really nice gift, thank you. You did good with this one, kid. Oh my goodness, are you sure? I think? Never mind. I thought that since the purple anemone, or whatever that is, urchin, was part of the <sighs> I thought that since the purple sea urchin was part of the gift uh, that you put together in the the community center for Emily that she'd like it as a gift. What's what did it say exactly? I hid something behind the community center. Stone Junimo. What heck is it? Garden art for your farm. Okay. And then also, I almost forgot to, we had another one of those X marks the spot things for the area just north of the sea bridge. secret notes. There. This is... Oh. I know where that is. I know where that is. The question is, can we get there in time? I think we can. We're gonna try. So this is not a wooden bridge, but it is a, a bridge. Here is a wooden bridge. What is that? Strange doll. Oh, okay, it's another museum artifact. Neato. So I've got two museum artifacts to turn in tomorrow, which still won't get us to 60, but we're getting closer. Both of them were dug up today, interesting fact. All right. So we're gonna sell the tuna, the herring, the sardine, the red mullet, the pike, the perch, the sea urchin, and the hava. Oh good, I can see again. I can see clearly now the cats are gone.
That goes to Gunter, that goes to Gunter. That I'm gonna just put right there for now. It's pretty, I like it. Stone Junimo, okay, cool. Cool beans. And while I have two treasure hunter. There. Two gold bars. Boom. And that was day 13 of winter. All right. And I think that ends our video with uh, today. That was three days. It was a bit long. I apologize for that. But, um, but we're doing really well. Here's artifacts. Oh, so you could count them here. Oh, except minerals don't, uh, I see. But you can get kind of a sense of what's left. That's cool. I need to, I need to use this more often. So once again, um, my name is Anna Mordahl and this has been Stardew Valley. Thank you so much for coming along with me. <laughs> Bye-bye.